Hello and welcome to another microchannel uh, management briefing. My name is Kerry Proctor and we're going to have a look at Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central, the on-premise version. This is a first look. This product was released 1st of October 2018. So a couple of things of interest. As of 1st of October 2018, no more Dynamics NAV. From now on, the product will be Dynamics 365 Business Central, or BC as I tend to call it now. It's a little bit less of a mouthful. Um, You've got three uh, licensing options, two subscription. The first subscription approach is um, BC managed by Microsoft and Azure. Secondly is an on-prem, which could also be hosted subs subscription license. And thirdly, a more traditional perpetual license. We will touch briefly on Intelligent Cloud, uh, a very important consideration for clients moving to perpetual or on-prem licenses. And the other thing that will be of interest to um, NAV clients is that the on-prem version still has access to Seaside and CalCode and all the NAV objects. So if you've modified your NAV solution, those um, modifications can probably be brought forward as Seaside extensions. Um, but bear in mind that moving forward, um, Microsoft is at, um, recommending and using extensions only uh, as the way for, de for development moving forward. So best practice practice will be to start moving away from Seaside no matter uh, which version you're on. Uh, for those of you that this is a new concept, uh, NAV traditionally had, the, uh, had a client-server integrated development environment where code could be modified and enhanced, and, and these changes were saved as objects within the NAV database. Um, Microsoft has changed the approach now that uh, rather than actually update the original database uh, with extensions, you could consider this as enhancements uh, sitting alongside the uh, database. The database is not touched, enabling Microsoft to offer updates um, quite easily without conflict. So it's a different approach and one I give you, I suggest uh, give some thought to. So with that, what we might do is now just have a look at the product. So this is the main screen. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this because I've done this before, but we're here we have uh, Kronos uh, Australasia. Um, Kronos has been the, the sample company uh, in NAV for as long as I remember. And I guess Kronos being uh, father of Zeus and uh, son of Gaia and uh, Uranus in uh, Greek mythology, it's uh, been around a long time. And we'll have a look at some of the uh, data in this shortly. Before I move through the dashboard, though, these are queues down the bottom here. This dashboard is set up by individual. If I want to look at outstanding sales orders that have not been fulfilled, I can have a look at these, and these queues are user-definable. It's giving us key intelligence on this main screen here, uh, and also transaction details. This dashboard, however, does change. If I come up here to settings, um, I've signed in as a business manager. If I was a finance person, I was running as an accountant, I would have a different dashboard to maybe a sales order processing person and the like. So if you're running the trial version, please uh, move between the various roles and that will give you a better idea of what can be done. Second suggestion I have is up here. This is more a global search. If I type in item, um, it'll give me a list of where all these items are. I can show a lot of more detail here. I can then click over and have a look at items. I'm going to go back again. Um, but this is handy because a very fast way to find something if it's not on your, your dashboard or your menu. Um, and if you're looking for jobs, you can find jobs in there even though it's not showing on your screen. Uh, and it's a good way to find things out. The uh, other aspect of this is if I look at Business Central, um, this is the cloud version. What I have recommended is uh, come over here, get help and enables you to run the application with uh, help already loaded up. And I also suggest you download this PDF, which is about 900 page documents. So you can actually run the application, the help, and the PDF document with scenarios and uh, all other details in there. It gives you a good way of getting started with the application. So I'll put that away. I'm going to go back to the on-prem version. So it looks very much the same. The couple of things where Microsoft have uh, done a very good job is if I bring up items, um, Whilst this is running in a browser, and there is also a desktop version, but I'm running the browser version, the flexibility here has become exceptionally nice. So in this one here, if I wanted to use a shortcut, let's say I wanted to type in, or just click on F3 and type in chain, then this is sorting through my inventory and bringing up uh, those products with chain in the description. 
So I'm not just using a browser, but I'm also using a keyboard uh, for those that uh, like to operate things quite quickly. Whilst I'm looking at this list here, I can also come over and have a look at tiles, which is showing a lot more detail here. Might uh, suit if you're working in a showroom type scenario whereby you wanted to uh, have a look at product and look at the variations and uh, other details on these products. I, however, still prefer a list, so I'm going back to the list. This button up here will show the fact box and I can set up my Power BI, uh, graphical reporting and a lot of other attributes and forecasting details. So within this version here we've got Intelligent Cloud Insights. Where Microsoft has done a, a, an impressive job is I could be running this on-prem or hosted um, and I can still connect to uh, the cloud and what uh, the cloud will enable you to do is push data up to the cloud uh, you're still running on-prem and it can then go through and look at your product sales and come up with a forecast sales and a forecast replenishment Similarly, in finance, if you're using cash flow reporting, uh, using this will actually go through and have a look at when your customers actually do pay. Not, not necessarily their trading terms. The trading terms might be 30 days, but they actually pay on 52. Um, and it'll come back looking at that and update your cash flow forecast. Um, so it's just starting to actually leverage that benefit of the cloud, even if you're still running on-prem. So I'm going to put this away and just have a look at these here. So if I'm looking at my front wheel here and I press shift down arrow, I can actually select a few of these and control C, cut and paste, put that into Excel. So once again, we're getting a lot more flexibility than we used to have. In practice, you may well actually come over and just say, open this in Excel. Down here, that's pushed it out to Excel. And here we are with the, the details that are showing up uh, out of my inventory. I recommend you do this uh, when you're starting to play around with the, the trial company because it could well be that you want, um, you want to know um, which products actually have uh, production bombs. So now I can have a look and I know these products down here have production bombs. Uh, I'm starting to search and look around. So for those products that might have uh, lot tracking or serial number tracking, similar way of doing all this and it makes life a little bit easier. The other aspect you can start to do here uh, is, is personalize this. So what I can do is I can hide columns. What I can also do is choose columns and uh, there's some down here. Now the first thing to quite crop up here is you might say aha not every field is, is on here and that may be the case but what you can do then is come up to uh, design and I'm going to say more. I'm going to say I want to add a field. And let's say I want on my field, um, um, my, my, my profit, gross margin. I can bring that up, put that on my form, and uh, I've now got that detail. Now this up here is actually showing how this is going to look on a desktop, but if I wanted to have a look at this now on a tablet, how it would look, you can see the profit is already here, or I could look at how this is going to show up on a smartphone. I'm going to stay with this one here and put that through. So with that, I'm going to stop designing. I'm not going to save that, but here it all is. Once again, these, these columns I can uh, filter and search. Uh, a lot of flexibility for a browser-based application and very fast with it as well. So there's our first look at Kronos. Um, back to the main screen. Uh, any details, if you'd like help with the trial version, please contact Microchannel. Uh, we're more than happy to help and happy to assist you. So thank you very much and look forward to speaking to you.